Welcome to, to um, Flippin' About. Flippin' About, yes. So tonight we'll be, uh, I'll be making uh, uh, my twist, Filipino twist on the chicken curry uh, because it's gonna be American and Filipino. So chicken curry pot pie. How is it, Amit? How is it Filipino? Um, because the chicken curry, it's uh, considered as one of the Filipino staples with rice, you know, chicken curry, potatoes, um, yeah, and with the coconut. Um, but the pot pie usually it uses cream and not mm -hmm. coconut. Mm -hmm. So this one I'm gonna use coconut cream. Coconut cream. Yes. Okay. And uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Yeah and. Yeah, I'll just be making that one and baking it. It would be like a pie, really a pot pie. It, it's really a pot pie, but instead of uh, using the, just cream, uh, I use curry and chicken, yeah, coconut. Me, I think I will, I'll consider today as the refrigerator day. Whatever I can find in the ref later, I will use it. and. It's so easy to put everything together in a terrain pan like this. So whatever she will not use or discard will go here. So I don't know the title. <laughs> yeah, so it's refrigerator day, so um, make everything you find on the fridge, yes. Okay, okay and good luck to you. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, so... Um, for the chicken pot pie, we'll be making the pie crust first. It's two and a half uh, tablespoon of flour, uh, one half a tablespoon of sugar, uh, one teaspoon of salt, and two. We have the. This is the uh, two sticks of butter, and seven tablespoons later. Uh, the cold of the cold um, water, ice cold water, and we're gonna put it all in the food processor later. Um, so, just these are this is the stuffing or what's inside the filling, which is the chicken, and we have curry, um, we have salt, pepper, uh, our aromatics, garlic. Uh, spring, uh, scallions or no um, onions you can use onions and this is the thickening agent for the coconut milk and bouillon and you can use green bell pepper red bell pepper potatoes and um, carrots so what you will do later um, this is for the filling but we're gonna work on this one first, which is the pie crust, and then we're gonna refrigerate it for 30, 40 minutes while we work on these ingredients over here. Uh, we're gonna cook this, this one, it's gonna sit in the fridge for a bit, and then we will put them all together and bake it at 425 degrees. So I'm gonna use the food processor, and we're gonna put it on poles. So start with the dry ingredients first, which is the flour. Um, this is the two tablespoon sugar and one half teaspoon salt. Okay. Put it in a pot. So this is dry first. So the two sticks of butter, we have to cut them up into cubes, and we'll slowly uh, add them here. Um, We'll just open this up here. Let's see, we'll do this slowly. Let's open up this thing. So we'll do it slowly like that until it incorporates. So use cold. Um, and 
we'll add the uh, seven tablespoon um, cold ice cold water. So this has to be cold. The uh, the uh, butter has to be cold. So I'm just doing it in pulse so uh pulse so okay, one at a time here see it's starting to get crumbly and we want it to come because we are going to again it has to be cold butter i guess uh you have to slice it in cubes Okay, so now we're going to slowly add 7 tablespoons of, it has to be ice cold water, so 1, and we'll do 2, little crumbly and we're gonna uh, mold it into one giant ball and then afterwards we're gonna divide it into one is gonna be the uh, top layer the other one is gonna be the, um, the, the, uh, the bottom and the top layer so we're just gonna make sure Should be, uh, you'll know that this is good because it's starting to come together, so it means that we added the right amount of water. And that cold, um, the cold water and the butter is what gives it its flakiness. So I don't want to waste this stuff, so you have to incorporate this one. Make sure it's really in there. Okay. And it's okay to lose some. And I'll put this in a fridge for a bit to cool. So you can form it into this one. And we will use the rolling pin later. And we will add. When we put it all together, we'll put an egg wash on it. So egg wash is just one egg. And, okay. So we'll put cling film on this one, or plastic wrap. So just keep it like, nice and moist while we work on, we'll put this on the fridge, and while we work on our chicken curry. chill for a bit. So this one is slightly bigger. I'll make this the uh, bottom and this is, but as much as possible make it, um, you know, the uh, 
exact, not exact, but an approximate same size. Okay, yeah, it's okay if you. And I'll put this in the fridge. We are filling, so it's going to be coconut based, uh, so curry. Definitely you need the chicken, so you dice it um, in the veggies, the greens, so green bell pepper, red bell pepper, potatoes, uh, carrots, and you have to cut it at approximately around the same size so it cooks evenly. Uh, chicken bouillon, um, this one is the shallots, or you can use onions, white onions, and these are the ar part of the aromatics I like to put. Um, the uh, ginger in mine, salt and pepper, salt, pepper, and of course the curry. And I use like half a cup of coconut milk because we don't want this to be too runny because this is going to be filling for our pie over here. So this is going to be our pie. Um, I lined it with something. We lined it with something just so that um, it doesn't stick later. And cornstarch, of course, is a thickener. And that's it. I'm just going to cook this. And once it cooks, um, we'll cool it down and then we'll uh, assemble the pie and then everything will just come together. So I'm heating up the pan with olive oil. You can use vegetable oil. Uh, make sure you have enough. And here. And we were, will start with our aromatics, the shallots. Ginger. Okay. And uh, we're gonna cook the uh, the car uh, the carrots first because they think they cook. Uh, so these ones, the bell peppers, will cook last just because they cook. Carrots first, and make sure all the carrots are in there. more oil to this one. So see the carrots are starting to cook. And then I add my potatoes. Potatoes cook a lot longer too. You can add some seasoning now because the potato holds uh, flavor. So you can put salt and pepper, and you can season it later to salt. Pepper. Bit. So that's the carrots, potatoes, the uh, uh, shallots, 
and the uh, ginger in there. Uh, the cooking, allow it to cook before you add the chicken and the other ingredients. Uh, but the uh, red and the blue bell, uh, red and the green bell pepper are going to be last because they cook right away. And it's always nice to cook them when they're cooked. Um, anyway, we're going to put them in the um, oven, 425 degree oven later. So now you can add chicken. You can add more. Whoa, okay. You can add more uh, oil if you like. If not, it's not a little bit of something new. I am preference, and that seems to be okay. I'll add a little oil until that chicken turns white and it cooks all the way through. Chicken, chicken, you can add some oil. So while the chicken is cooking, you can add the, um, you can add the um, more salt and pepper seasoning. Okay. And maybe half of the chicken beyond so that it gets all the flavor. I put half of this one so that it gets the flavor and stuff, you know. So just make sure that it's starting to turn white. And you can heat it up more. I put it to medium to high heat. So the chicken is cooking now, and I'm going to be ready to put in the uh, coconut milk. So I'm going to add the coconut milk. And uh, now we can start introducing the liquid. You can add the rest of the bouillon. And of course, uh, one tablespoon of curry powder. That's going to and we'll add this later when it's all cooked. Um, this is a thickener uh, because um, our chicken curry, it's going to be a filling for a pie. It can't be wet, so it needs to be a little sticky. And you can put a pot on this one so that... So we'll add the uh, these ones later. We'll add this one later because we don't want this to be too soggy. So if you like spicy, you can add uh, more peppercorns, or I actually add I like pepper flakes. Okay. If you want it a little spicy, add some meat. This is the. Uh, it needs to be a little thicker than this, so we'll add it. Uh, we'll add the cornstarch later. You can add the cornstarch um, just to thicken it a bit. One tablespoon of cornstarch. It's just really to thicken, thicken it, um, so it's not too runny for the pie to thicken up and stuff. And now uh, you can add the bell peppers. It's just to add color and texture to, to the filling. You can put a lid on it so it cooks, um, steams and cooks, especially for the potatoes. They're almost ready. So we're making the egg wash. So it's just basically egg and one egg. And then this is going to be the egg wash uh, over the pie crust later. Chicken curry is cooked already. Um, it's in the pot, and then I'm just gonna put up the thing from the fridge, the pie crust. So this one I'm gonna roll it so that it goes in the bottom. And this one is the top layer. You need a rolling pin. And you can dust it just so it doesn't stick. Not a lot. Okay. So I think 
ideally this has to be in the fridge at least maybe an hour or so so it sticks there. So make sure it's circular to mine is not. <laughs> Make sure it uh, fits here. Be careful that the uh, thing is not too dry. It has to be a little moist. This one. That's it. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll put this in the center. Oh, Make sure that this doesn't fall apart or anything, but yeah, that was like not very circular. It wasn't very good. Okay, but we'll crimp it on the side so that So that's the importance of having this pie crust uh, refrigerated for a while. So this one is not like a full hour. So it didn't really incorporate. sure it extends to the side. It's very uneven. Mine is very uneven. Let's see. Filling here in the middle. And now we're going to dust this again to so make sure. This time, okay, it's circular. So this goes over the top. This thing is thickening. Two more flour. Make sure you spin it so that it's there you go. There. Mm -hmm. okay. 
do you put flour on here so it doesn't stick? So. Perfect. Let's hope this works. And we'll put this here. So we're going to crimp it on the side. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to fold it on the side. It's not, this is not perfect, but we're going to just crimp it on the side. here so that the steam comes out and you put an egg wash over it use a spatula or a brush a brush is better but you can use this one the egg wash will make sure that it just browns So just to make sure that your pie is flaky, make sure it's been in the fridge at least an hour. So because in my case, um, I didn't really wait a full hour. So go. And we'll pop it in the oven for, for uh, at 425 degrees for 25 30 minutes until it browns. Okay? Make sure that the vents are there. That's where the steam escapes. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the oven. Um, 25 30 minutes. Okay, and there you go. You to make a refrigerator, whatever recipe. So I found um, from uh, the extra that. Um, Genie used of the chicken, I'll use that, and then I found carrots and some of these vegetables which I sliced very finely. And whatever I find, I found some leftover nori, leftover cheese, some parmesan cheese, some sourdough, and some uh, more of the, the coconut that uh, she did not use. So let's see what we can do with this. First, I want to season my chicken. I like lots of pepper. Okay, do that. More. Okay. And so. You can see with the, I was using my fingers with uh, three fingers for my pepper, but now I'm just using to, to control myself. These are chicken tenders. So there's, when it's from the word itself, you know that uh, it will cook very quickly. This is the, this is the, like the, the loin of the chicken breast. All right, I'm going to introduce some heat already here, not on the veggies, because this is a bit bland. 
So you know, chicken taste bland. So let's let's make it more exciting. Okay. You can see that I have sliced all my veggies as thin as possible, and even the carrots. You just um, uh, peel it like this way lengthwise so that it will fit into my Pyrex. But make always sure you read what it says in your Pyrex that it's oven proof, that it's microwave proof, it's not grill proof and all. This is a Pyrex so I'm sure it will be good. Alright, I'm going to oil my bottom. And this is always a good uh, vegetable to start with. Again, from the recipe of, uh, from the curry of uh, Jenny, I'm using that. And some of this. You see, this is what I would have found in the ref after she did her cooking. Okay, sometimes when you find that it's too thick and you have a very sharp knife, okay, this is what you do. Flatten your hand. It will not slice through your hand. Just make sure you flatten it and you get a thinner slice, okay? Alright, let's continue with this and in the middle we will put our chicken. You see, sometimes there's um, it's enjoyable to uh, go on your own adventure and try to find out what you can do with the things you have in your ref. At the same time, you're cleaning your ref, and um, then at the same time, you discover that you have, have there are many new recipes that you you could have uh, that you were missing out on. This is like a discovery. I'm very rough with the veggies. I, there's not, you don't have to be uniform in the slices. What's important is that they will all cook at the same time. So that's why the potatoes have to be sliced very well. Now my carrots. Do you want to ask me if I know what this will come out of? I don't know. <laughs> That's the whole fun of it. I'm making Jenny nervous. <laughs> but I know she and her friends, they like veggies, right, Jenny? Mm -hmm. Okay, but well, before I put in the last coating, let me, let me add, let me make up my my uh, sauce or filling. I'm going to fill in everything I have here. Um, more of the, the coconut milk. Mm, smells good. That was this. This is also coconut milk, but um, I left it in the ref before, so I'm using it now. And we don't want to waste anything. Here we go. Some mozza.
It's like a. Um, I was thinking it, making it a ratatouille, but I don't have uh, eggplant, so this would be like a vegetable terrine instead. Okay. Maybe let me see. Just some of this for my topping. I need a I need a crust, but since I don't have a crust, I'm going to use this again. And I have to catch up with the oven of uh, what Jenny's cooking, so that you know we save on the electricity. All right. A little of uh, soup stock, a little soy sauce just for color. You know what? When you're always in doubt about the what if your if your dish will come out well like now I'm just experimenting and I don't know what's gonna happen to it always add cheese that's the best solution okay I need to taste it okay just has enough sourness mm, so I just need it to create something like this. Okay. There we go. This parchment and oil. to take a little long because we got we have to cook the potatoes but then again and the chicken but then again nothing to lose look at it that's the layering can you see the layering so come with me now you you pray that it will come up nice or, um vegetable uh, layered vegetable dish that tried to become ratatouille but did not and good luck to it okay it goes into the oven same oven that as uh, baking the chicken pot pie of Jen I'll take it out for you oh looks beautiful there you are so it looks so country butter really good wow Jenny this looks so good your pie looks so good it looks so it's so flaky actually let's go wow look at that grass and you can even smell the butter mm -hmm. two cheese uh, sticks Two sticks. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's so flaky that it's crumbly, but it's good.
Wow, look at that. I don't mind, I don't mind eating, eating my pie this way if I know that it's and, and the and the curry looks so good. Okay, yours. Let's see. How is it? Yeah, it's really flaky. Yeah, it's really good butter. This is nicer. There you go. See? Mm -hmm. See that? And this is the chicken pot pie. Curry, chicken curry. Chicken pie. curry pot pie of Jenny. With a very flaky crust. Nope. Okay. Let's take take that along for solo later. Taste. I want to taste the the, the, the crust. Mmm. Make sure when they replay, mm -hmm. you get the recipe right. Okay. The secret is really to use two sticks of good butter. Your dishes only come as good based on the good ingredients that you choose, okay? Bad ingredients, not so good recipe, not so good dish. Good ingredients, great dish. Remember that. Yeah, I, I really like the pie crust. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I like the uh, carrots. Well, I like all of it. Yeah, so good. Mm. Mm. It's a uh, one meal and you can pair this. It doesn't even have to have chicken. Mm -hmm. You can make it can vegetarian. Be a vegetarian. Yeah, it's real good. Now let's look at the, my refrigerator. Bahala na vegetable lasagna or terrine as you might call it based on the things that I found in the bread. So rule number one, you have to let it rest because the juices are still um, circulating, see? I think I put in too much of uh, mm -hmm. all this, too much liquid. It smells good. Yeah. It's not good. This is not what we're supposed to use. So my crust is made of. Um, wait, not that. My crust is made of. This is mine. My crust is made of the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Let me look for something. If not for the watery um, sauce, because we have to let it first uh, with this rest, it would be good. I'll try the chicken. Where's the chicken? Okay. So this is how to enjoy veggies that you were supposed to throw in the ref uh, in the garbage because it was in the ref and you used it and it's a meal so uh, I'll cut a bigger piece just to show the layering wow it's spicy mm -hmm. 
I like the cheese. The Parmesan cheese. Really good sauce. the piece that will that will look nicer okay all right so just I don't just show it now I'll show show I don't know how to get this I didn't know it was so hard to get something out of the <laughs> oh, but it's annoying I just put in, I didn't expect my coconut um, milk to run. That's okay. Leave it there. Tomorrow, when you see this in the ref, it will be so beautiful. So this is best eaten cold, not hot. Okay? Alright. That's my excuse. 